Very good morning and welcome back. Now, she left school at 15 to work as a typist and didn't publish her first novel until she was in her 40s. But Barbara Taylor Bradford has truly made up for that late start. She has now sold more than 80 million books worldwide. Her 28th novel, Secrets from the Past, is out now. And it could be heading for the bestseller list, like most of the rest. I think probably all the rest. Barbara's here to share her secrets. Morning to you. Good How morning, you Louise. Sorry, Charles. Good morning. I'm glad to be here. Very good morning to you. You know, I come from the other side of the Pennines. <laughs> Oh, I did. Yes, I did. Of course, from I do. I do know that. Yes. And so tell us the tale. I mean, of how that came about. Because we said you left school at fifteen. Fifteen and a half. Mm. I got myself a job through my typing teacher, shorthand and typing teacher. She got me an interview with the woman who ran the typist pool at the Yorkshire Evening Post. My mother didn't want me to go for this interview and said, said, I'll come with you. I said, oh, you can't come with me. They'll never <laughs> give me a job. Anyway, what happened is I did get that job and my parents were furious because they thought I'd gone to be interviewed to be a reporter. Uh. So I made a deal. I said, let me try it for a month and I promise you mm. I'll leave if, and go back to school and go to Leeds University, which is what they wanted. Um, but I, I managed to like it. I was a bit nervous with my short terms and typing. And what happened is I, I met a reporter, a woman, on the morning paper and she said, why don't you try writing little pieces? And I did. Mm. And they published them and before you knew it, they made me a cub reporter. And then you went on to have a, you know, a proper career yeah. as a journalist, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. I was a uh, woman's page editor of the Yorkshire Evening Post at 18. 18? 18. 18. And I left at 20 and went to be fashion editor of Woman's Own. And I left there after a couple of years and went back to newspapers. So I was on the so, London so Evening News. If we fast forward now to the, the book uh, Secrets from the Past, there's a hark back there, isn't it? Maybe to, to your, the early part of your career, because this is about... War correspondence it uh, is and about the effect war on those yes. they love. Yes, mm. um, and it's about uh, war photographers, in fact. But I've not stopped being a journalist, you know. I just had a piece in the Sunday Telegraph about Kate Middleton and uh, that writer, who I love her work. But Hilary uh, Yes, but I found her comments about Kate Middleton a little harsh shall we say. I mean, people anyway, say they would take out of, out of context, don't they? They're not really, because I had to read the lecture three times to get any reference to what, to anything about the press mm. making us look at people in a certain way. So forget her. <laughs> Let's talk about me, yeah. right? And the book, so tell us more book. about the book. So this, this, is, this is a legendary war photographer and uh, the, the effect, basically, his life has on his family. Yes. Well, it's really the protagonist is a woman, because I write about women going out and conquering the world. And she has retired at the age of 30 because she's lost her edge. And once you lose your edge, edge on the front, you know you're going to get killed because you've got to be with it at all times. Yes. She is asked, so she's, re not, she's not retired from f photography. She's given up being a war photographer and she's writing a biography of her father who mm -hmm. was a legendary war photographer but has died of natural causes. She's writing that when his um, business partner wants her to go and look after somebody and he doesn't say who for a moment who's just been pulled out of Afghanistan because he's suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress. We don't want to give too much of the plot away, but it, you're very much right that it is a tribute to those people who work in that field. Yes, I do. So what happens is she looks after him, she discovers later some strange family photographs which kind of turn her life upside down, and, and I won't tell you anymore, but it goes from New York to Venice, to the south of France and to Libya, because they do go and cover the Libyan part of the Libyan war. Um, and you talk about being a journalist. Um, you are sort of addicted to news, are you? Do you oh, yes. And fascinated yes. by it still? I watch a lot of news programs on television. I'm addicted to those news shows, it, CNN, yes. Fox, uh, Sky, when I'm here. And the way I kind of became an expert on war is in the summer of 2011 it was very hot and we were in when we were in France so Bob and I retreated to the bedroom of the hotel and watched, watched television that. and we saw a war unfold so all I'm doing is write notes 
and clipped newspapers, you know, because they were covering yeah. it at the time. And one thing from that, Bob, who had worried that I was choosing a woman war photographer as a heroine, as yeah. a protagonist, said after the first few days, you know, I think you're very current because all I see are women war photographers and women war correspondents. And of course, we know what happened to poor Marie Colvin. We do. Uh, we do. Barbara, very sad our of... time's up now. Thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank the book you. is called uh, Secrets from the Past. It's available right now. Thank you yes, very much. Yes, and it's wonderful for Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, here for you to play us out this morning is Tunde Bayou. We spoke to him earlier performing Move from his new album, Diamond in a Rock. Have a great day and enjoy it.